Hey Seekies, welcome back to some more Warframe. In this episode, we're going to continue on the navigation menu. We're going to try to finish off Mercury finally. It's been taking us a while ever since they added these new missions down here. I haven't actually officially completed it again. So we still have three more to go before it's all said and done. And the next one is a capture mission. Now we're going to do this a little bit different than we normally do these missions. Typically I just rush through them. Now we're going to try to do something a little bit more challenging, so I only have a Lado equipped. So I don't have any melee weapon, no primary weapon, so I must complete it with only the Lado. So we're going to try to mix in some of these challenge episodes, I guess you can say, and these future episodes to make them a little bit more interesting, especially when the level of the enemies is so low. Need to find a way to make it more entertaining. Anyway, Sikis, let's go get them! Infiltrated, here we go. We have multiple targets of interest for this mission. Bring them all to me. Alright, so we only have to capture one of the targets, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I think we can pull it off. It's gonna really be annoying though, because I don't have any melee weapon, and that really makes life a whole lot easier in Warframe. And the Lado is one of the worst guns, so this should be interesting. Of course it is rank 30, so that's gonna help a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's not as challenging as I originally thought it was going to be. <laughs> You've been seen. Ready your weapon. But yeah, we need to make some more of these types of episodes into the series for sure. And when I do some more episodes with Seekies in the future, we can definitely try to like... All of us try to do a challenge at once and see who can come out on top like we normally do with the MVP at the end of the episodes. Makes it more entertaining for sure. Alright, now we're going to have to worry about a Bombards. Oh man. Bombards and heavy gunners, they're going to be an issue. And you'll notice I have carrier, unfortunately I have Harley sitting in stasis because I haven't been playing too many days in a row and... It's really pointless to- oh my god! Get back! Alright, we finally got him. Alright, so, as I was saying, if you're not going to play Warframe for too many days in a row... It makes more sense to put your Kubro in stasis, which is something you can do right on the ship. And basically what that does is it prevents them from losing any of their health, because every day when the daily login bonus resets, they actually take away 10% of the health, and you have to keep buying these things called DNA stabilizers off the market, and they cost 75000 for like a 5-pack, I think. 5 or 6-pack. And pretty much you have to keep spending that to keep them healthy because if you don't give it to the Kubro, eventually it will die and then you'll lose it forever. Oh man, I might run out of ammo. I have to be careful. <laughs> That's another thing to take in consideration. So we're just going to try to rush past some of these enemies. Rush past most of them. Alright, so there's target number one over there. Damn it! Oh man, this might be some trouble. Die! Die! Oh <laughs> man. It's not good. I'm also trying not to use any of my powers to make it even more challenging. Where'd he go? Oh, did he run all the way down there? You little jerk, get back here. Damn it. Oh man, this is really challenging. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, Carrier. Unfortunately, I forgot I had Carrier on, so... Still made it challenging, but not quite as challenging. We still have some things to iron out on this idea. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it makes it more interesting to watch them when it's a little more difficult than it typically is. I don't know why I'm even bothering trying to collect energy, I don't need it. Right, so let's get past these guys. 
But yeah, as I was saying earlier, if you put your Kubro in stasis, you don't have to worry about them losing their health. The only real downside is you have to wait three hours from the time you decide to pull them out before you can use them again, so... That's not really a big deal, like, if you know you're gonna play later that night, just go on earlier in the day. The Get them ready to go. Alright, so we have to override security. Oh wait, do we not have to? Maybe there's no security nearby, I have no idea. Looks like this is locked though. Yeah, what? Oh, don't tell me the mission's glitched. Should be a terminal to hack around here somewhere. Okay, we have to run all the way down here to find one, okay. I was gonna say. Alright, now let's go finish this off. Now, if you have any ideas for... These targets are a very high flight risk. ...episodes in the future for challenges, let me know in the comments below and we can definitely look into making them happen. Hopefully this will also make it more interactive, like... I know people have been losing interest in the series lately, and we definitely need to find some more ways to make it more entertaining again for everybody. Oh man, and there's no way I'm gonna kill that thing, I need to get past it. Stupid Eximus, I hate you. This just goes, uh, goes to show how useless the Leto really is. Even at rank 30, it's like three times the level of all the enemies on this mission. Alright, this one actually might get away. Come on! Oh, I got him! I got him! Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, let's recharge our shield before we go to grab him. Pick off a few of these enemies. Alright, there we go, there we go. Gotcha! Alright, now we just have to get out of here and this will be a successful mission. Yeah, so there are plenty of ideas we can come up with. We can try to do one weapon only ideas, like weak weapon ideas like the Lado. Uh, try to do it only using one Warframe power. Try to complete a certain type of mission using only a Warframe who's not really well suited for that particular type of mission. Let's get out of here. Pick up these last few guys. Oh man, I'm out of ammo. Oh no. Oh no. No, this is not happening right now. <laughs> oh man, I can't get out of here, can I? You know what? Maybe I can make them. Oh no. Damn it. I have to backtrack to find some ammo. Oh, that's what I get for wasting it. <laughs> oh, I should have known that was going to happen. This could not have gone any worse. I don't think there's any ammo to pick up anywhere. Could even try doing an episode where only the Sentinel could get some kills. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Actually, as a matter of fact, I might need him to help me out here. If only I could command him to shoot that damn fan off. Alright, so I'm going to have to use him to try to kill some of these guys and hopefully one of them drops some pistol ammo or something. Seriously, could not have gone any worse. Ah, come on. Come on, Ash. Don't. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Alright, kid, we got out of there at least. Alright, come on, drop some... Oh, why do they keep dropping rifle ammo? Oh, I can't take down the Bombard with the Sentinel. There's no way. The only thing I'm thinking is maybe if I can get him to draw the fire towards us. I could use that. And unfortunately, the only two ways out are through here and through here. <laughs> this is horrible. Alright, so let's see if we can drag the Bombard in there to do it for me. Alright. See if the Sentinel can take down this, these regular grenade units. Yes! Oh, we got pistol ammo. All right, let's get out of here. Go, go, Ash, go, go. Oh, I can't believe that worked. All right. Sayonara, suckers. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Well, that could have gone more smoothly, but you know what they say. Winning's winning. Doesn't matter how you get there. Unless you cheat, which we didn't. Alright, so we obviously didn't collect anything important there. It's an early mission. Not really much is going to drop there. We got 19 kills. Four of which were headshots. 43% accuracy. That's to be expected with a pistol that fires so slowly. Decent pickup count, I guess. Alright, well, that was an interesting first episode for mixing in some challenge episodes in the middle of the series. I'm going to try to put them into as many of these regular missions as possible, especially these really early missions. Like, next we're going to have an exterminate mission, we're going to have a deception mission, and then still plenty of others on relatively low-level planets. We could even do them on these really high-level planets too, that would just make it even more challenging. <laughs> There's so many possibilities. So, if you think of any ideas that would be pretty entertaining to watch in an episode that would be quite challenging as well, be sure to leave me a comment below, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know if you did enjoy the video also in the comments. And subscribe so you don't have to miss another video in this series ever again. And I will see you next time.